So who knows that, um, that, that children's song? Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see, right? Or, oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say, right? That's what we're talking about today. A lot of times we talk about some sort of a deep theological something or other. Uh, but tonight, I want to talk to you about something really practical. A tongue. A tongue. <clears throat> My grandmother had, had words to live by, which were, if you can't say something nice about someone, right? That's right. Don't say anything at all. I remember asking her once, I said, Grandma, what do you think about the Rome School Board? And she just said, <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't biting. She wasn't going to say anything about it. You know? Uh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. Uh, <clears throat> in James today, James, James is great because he gives a lot of good practical uh, instruction for life. And the instruction today is about how we use our tongue. Because, as James points out, the tongue is very, very powerful. The tongue is. Uh, gave us the speeches of Martin Luther King Jr. The tongue gave us the speeches of Adolf Hitler, right? A powerful, powerful uh, member of your body, which can be used for good and can be used for evil. It can be used in ways which you do not expect. So, so James says that we who are teachers, and that I don't think just means uh, the clergy, or someone leading a Bible study, uh, or someone who's in a classroom. I think it's any Christian who is, wants to tell other people about Christ. Teachers, you've got to be careful. Be careful about what you say. Because what you say may blow up into something, some big catastrophe. Uh, you may hurt somebody. You may do something horrendous. Uh, the tongue is not something just to, we're supposed to forget about, though. Now, we, we, we've heard about monasteries where people go and they keep a vow of silence and they don't say anything for a year or years, never say anything. Well, and I suppose that's good for them, for their spiritual discipline. But the tongue is not to be ignored because while it, is, it has to be respected, the, the tongue is like this. He said it's like a, a, bri a, a bit. And, Bit in the in the mouth of a horse, or the rudder in a boat, um, and in both cases, uh, with, with whether you're riding a horse or whether you're in a boat, you need the rudder. And if you are out on the ocean and you don't have a rudder, how's that going to work out? Not very well. You need to have the rudder. You need to have something. But the problem is, you've got to be very careful about how you use it. You know, when you ever ever driving like a, a big something big, and you realize when you turn that big wheel, you overcompensate just a little bit, you're going to go right off the road, right? Uh, you got to be be firm about where you're going. You can't go way over one side because that can be problematic. You have to know and control what you're doing. the 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 tongue uh, is what instructs us. It is what directs us. It is what what, what pushes us forward. It is, when you think about what it is that made, brings the world into existence, it is the Word of God. God spoke, right? God spoke, let there be light. Now, that could suggest that God has a physical tongue, but, but that's what we're talking about here. The power of God uh, brings that, it brings, that it brings creation into the world. Uh, likewise, Jesus says that, that, we, we, that He is the Word of God, the Word made flesh. The word proceeds from the tongue, right? And so, so it is that the, it is very important. The other side, don't use it in wrong ways. So, having heard that, uh, how do you use your tongue? You know, you may, after, after hearing this, you may remember the, the phrase, silence is golden, right? Uh, and maybe not saying much of anything sometimes is the important thing. Not just to be speaking all the time, but to listen and then to speak what is appropriate. I was down in uh, Scranton a couple weeks ago, and <clears throat> there was a seminar uh, on the Welsh hymn singing around the country. And any questions, <laughs> up goes this one guy's hand. Well, I want to challenge you about this. And then he, then he wanted to talk. Blah, 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 blah. And then a little later, 
<laughs> well, I want to, did you know? Blah, 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 you know? Uh, and I remember this man because he sat next to me at a dinner I was at many years ago. And you know what he did during the whole dinner? Blah, 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 right? Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. Sometimes saying too much can get you, uh, you know, into trouble. Think about what you're talking about. Uh, <clears throat> as an exercise this week, think about what you're talking about when you're talking with people. Really consider it. Think how many times when you open your mouth, you're opening your mouth to talk about someone else. Did you see in the paper who got picked up? That was Joe's son. Did you know that? Right? Right? How often does our tongue say that? Right? Did you see what Mary was wearing today? Oh. Right? So frequently our tongue is used in improper ways to gossip about people, to talk about people, to talk people down. That's not what your, your tongue is supposed to be used for. Uh, so many times our tongue is used is not is not used sparingly. It's used for uh, putting other people down, and sometimes we use it to talk about things we may not even know what we're talking about. There's some people who just talk and express their their thoughts without thinking them through. They don't think before they they open their mouths. God wants you to to use the gift which He has given you to good effect. James says, can, can fresh water and bilge, sewage, come out of the same spigot, right? What do you think about that? You know, um, <clears throat> think about a nice glass of water. Then think of some water coming out of the sewage pipe, right? Would you want the same pipe to be used for both of those, right? Because what happens? You can have the cleanest water in the world, and you just put some of that bilge into your, into your clean water, and what do you got? Right. Is it drinkable? No, absolutely not. You know? Uh, and so what, what God wants you to do is to remember that. The mouth that praises God, the mouth that says, oh God, you're wonderful, and then you come to come on Thursday night and you sing your heart out and sing, sing the hymns and, and you pray to God, do you want that evil stuff coming out of your mouth, talking about who did what to whom and all that kind of stuff? Do you want to use that mouth to uh, put somebody down? Do you want to use that mouth to hurt somebody? Uh, because what you say can really cause a firestorm. We see that in the world, don't we? One person says something and all of a sudden the whole world seems to go out of control because somebody said something, right? You've got to be careful what you say. You got to be careful. God wants you to use what you have been given. Don't let, don't let the bad stuff come out with the good. Um, <clears throat> and he says that we all make mistakes, which is true. We all do make mistakes. But the person who is able to control the tongue, if you can control your tongue and control what you're saying, it says you can control the whole body. Mm -hmm. right? So if you're controlling about what you're saying to, about other people, what you're saying to other people, um, if you can control that, wow, you're, you got the whole rest of you under control, which is a good thing. So what are you supposed to talk about? I've told you what you're not supposed to talk about. You're not supposed to talk about you know, other people. You're not supposed to put other people down. You're not supposed to talk about rude stuff. What are you supposed to talk about? The mouth has been given you to praise God, right? Okay, does that mean that you spend your whole life just saying praise God and bless Jesus all the time out of your mouth? No, that's not exactly what you're doing. But everything which comes out of your mouth should be respectful for what God wants you to say, right? When you talk to someone, is this, is this the mouth of God coming out? Is this is what God wants, wants to be, you to speak, you know, when you speak? Uh, when, you, when you talk to people, do you praise God? Do you tell the good news to other people? Are you telling people why you're so happy? Are you telling people what's going on in your life through because of what God has done? He gives you that opportunity to praise Him through your tongue, through your speech. And He wants you to do that. He wants you to proclaim God's praises. Tell people. Tell people the good news. Share that. So what's your, what is your assignment for this week? Well, 
Your assignment for this week is to think about your talk and really consider what are you saying, right? You know, when you've just said something, say, now, now, now what was I, why did I say that? Okay, was that a good thing or a bad thing, you know? When, you, when, you, when, you're, when someone wants to engage you in conversation which isn't very pleasant or polite, what do you say? Do you, do you join right in and start talking with them? Or do you, or are you like my grandmother and goes, mm, 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 mm. right? Right? Uh, <clears throat> think about that and consider that this week. And then say, how have I used my tongue to praise God? Who have I told? You know, when I had the opportunity to tell, say, so it says, how you doing? You say, oh, I'm doing great. Or you say, you know, boy, I feel really blessed. You know, God is doing great things for me. Isn't this a beautiful day God's given us? Right? You know, how do you use that tongue to say what God has done for your life? If you do that, you will find yourself feeling more happy. You'll feel yourself uh, being in more control of yourself. And you'll be doing what God wants you to do. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you what you say, because the Father up above is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. There's your good news for tonight. Let's gather around and pray.